Art from the Human Centipede 2, and you're listening to Urban Jungle's Radio. All Join Danny Benders live every Friday night at 10 p.m. in his quest to bring you the very best in cold blooded entertainment. From special guest appearances to you for today. Dance Gorilla Dance. Woo! There we go. You're listening to Adam Jungle Radio. Gorilla's getting excited. I think he wants to talk. Hold on. <laughs> He was making sounds before, now he's all silent and shy. Chris, that F you. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad the gorilla came by today, Andy. It's good to have the gorilla with us. Yes. Speaking yes. of rare yes, it is. species, we sort of have some good news. Um, CITES had a meeting this week. Um, t- <laughs> he's totally just throwing me off. I know. <laughs> Stop grooming, girl. Stop grooming. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any mites on me. <laughs> anyway, CITES convened this week, and CITES is the Convention for the International Trade on Endangered Species. And it's kind of a crazy, really, organization, but it's basically representatives of all different countries coming together to decide and talk about the commercial trade of essentially animals, mostly animals and plants, mm-hmm. things like wood. Um, and whatever derivatives of, of other plants and they may fall into this, but or organic materials. Yeah, it's 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 basically trying to protect you know vulnerable species and in, in, in this is their job really. Um, they convened this week and they decreed that three species of sharks all should be offered international protection, um, as well as manta rays. Um, they're included in there. I forgot. Oh God, I forgot what species. It was a white tip shark. The Porgy, mm. poor beagle, poor beagles, and uh, hammerheads and manta rays, and um, they have been offered protection under CITES, which will help to curb international trade in them, i.e., finning, and um, that would be phenomenal. I myself am a little disappointed that more than just three species weren't, you know, were included in this. Obviously. The whole thing is kind of crazy, if you ask me. I mean, you have all these countries basically talking about how much they can exploit something until it's gone. And that kind of speaks volumes about commercialization and the way things are these days. Um, and, and we saw, even even earlier this week, we saw one species, the white tip, which um, was protected by CITES and recently killed while filming in a commercial for Kmart. Um, you know, this is not a champagne moment. Um, it's a great affirmation of the ability of the world's governments to come together and decide to protect extremely you know valuable species whether they're marine species or you know wood pieces of wood trees whatever they the fact that they actually have to come together and convene to talk about how much they can exploit something before it's gone is also kind of alarming and sad at the same time i mean why is there even a discussion about this you know we know that every year millions of sharks are caught um, as part of the global tuna fishery operations. And that's not even counting the little guys that are making a killing. Um, their bodies are thrown overboard, but usually only after their fins are completely hacked off and um, thrown, you know, just basically back in the water to bleed out and, and die. Um, the Brown. main purpose of, of the harvest of the fin is for shark fin soup. Shark fin soup, sorry, I don't know what the hell's going off my enunciation. Um, shark fin soup, um, it's a, an Asian delicacy, and it's kind of crazy because in reality, the shark fin actually doesn't end up contributing any kind of flavor or anything to the soup. The soups are usually chicken or beef based, and the fins are put in to add some consistency to the soup. And this silly little dish is causing the worldwide demise of sharks. We are on the verge of a major, major collapse. Mm-hmm. And um, it's it's not just an Asian thing. I mean, you know, we've seen links of restaurants here in the States that continue to serve shark fin soup. And I know California, was it, that just put something on the books as far as shark finning? Yeah, they, they've made it um, completely illegal to have any shark fin products sold in the state. Mm-hmm. Kudos for them to being so proactive Absolutely, about absolutely. I wish the other 49 would follow suit. It's ridiculous. I mean, one of the species that was named um, the, the white tip 
is um, it's probably too late for that species. It's it's too late for some. The oceanic white tips have experienced a, a traumatic decline, population decline worldwide. It's probably too late already. And I mean, realistically, by the time they're caught in a net, uh, it's too late. They're going to drown. Yep. So there's no way to exclude them from these nets. So it's kind of just a loophole. It's crazy. I mean, it's going to be illegal to harvest these animals, but there's not going to be any way of proving, you know, where the fins came from, what species they mm-hmm. came from. Mm-hmm. Um, no one's monitoring this kind of fishing out in the ocean. I mean, there might be you know, one or two agencies, but not on the scale of operation that's not going enough. on out there. I mean, people, like I said, this goes back to the whole, like, thing we were talking about last week with, with Sweetwater. You know, you're left out there in your own resources and your own ethics, and that is unfortunately not enough for a lot of people because ethics are out the door. Shark yep. fin is, is bringing in, you know, more money than gold right now. It's ridiculous per weight. Um, it's, it's worth more than gold. Tragic, really tragic that we're depending on an organization like CITES to come together and decide to protect animals. And until then, we're not doing anything. It's also kind of crazy. I mean, and it's not, you know, you said it's not just a thing in Asia. We have it here in the U.S. There's, there's a huge, huge list available online of restaurants that serve shark fin soup right here in the U.S. In mm-hmm. places like, you know, um, in, in places like New York City and Los Angeles. In New Jersey. New Jersey. Even in our own backyard, man. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. I think we're going to have to do something about the ones here in our own state. <laughs> Seriously. Like, there's some that are relatively close to where I am. Mm-hmm. So, I, I think we need to try and do something about that. Can I try to give one a call? See if we can change our mind? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's give them a call and see if they serve shark fin and, and see if we can change our minds about it in any way. Um, here, let me see. Let's try it right here. Well, if they're anything like the uh, the place we called in Atlantic City, I think they may stick to their guns out of quote unquote tradition because should we, they don't know any better. Should we like come at them straightforward, or should we mess with them? No, let's come at them straightforward first. Let's see how that tactic works. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm calling now. Hold on. Bear with me, people. Technology. I don't have a manamana set up. I know Gordon Ramsay went and tried shark fin soup, right? Yes. Wasn't he the one that put out the YouTube video? He did. And he, and he said it tasted like nothing. It was like garbage. And it, it looks <clears> terrible. <throat> it really does. Like it, the, the, the fin itself is all like gelatinous. It is. It's gelatinous. And most people don't even know if they're being served it or not. No. So it's, it's, it looks terrible. It's kind of crazy. You want to you wanna take this one, Andy? No. No. no I don't, <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to take the initial one. <laughs> all right. We're gonna call we're gonna call Dim Sum Dynasty in Ridgewood. I'm saying their name. I don't care. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'll just, give the, I'll give the I gave the link on our on our in our chat room here. Dim Sum Dynasty NJ.com. <laughs> let them know. Well, let's find out first. Let's find out if they're serving. Yes. Yeah. We let's, need to find that out first. Are, let's let them know. Dialing. Dialing. Shh. Hello, Dim Sum. Hi, is this Tim Sum? Yes. Hi, I was wondering if you can accommodate a party of 19. When? Um, for Monday night. Monday night? Yes. Uh, ne- uh, next Monday? Yes. Yeah, no problem. Okay, great. Um, we have some friends coming in that want to experience really good traditional Chinese Mm-hmm. Dinners. Um, what I mean, do you have anything that you guys specialize in? We are traditional. Like what kind of things? Cantonese cuisine. Okay, great. Um, do do you have do you have a menu online that I could look at? Yes, Dinsan Dynasty NJ dot com. Oh yeah, okay. Oh wait a second. Do you serve shark fin soup? Yes, we do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to cancel. That's horrible. Why would you guys do that? I'm sorry? Oh, that's, that's horrible. Why would you guys serve shark fin soup? Do you know what's happening to sharks worldwide? I'm sorry. This is not the part what we can handle. The only thing is that is the one what we get. Uh, yeah, but, you, but you're buying it, right, for your restaurant? I'm sorry, sir. I, I can't answer your question. 
Yeah, I know, but you're going to lose a lot of customers. I'm going to bring 20 friends. I have, like, two really fat ones, too, and you're going to miss out on, on a lot of, of business because... Oh, I, I really can't handle that. You sure you can't handle business? Thank you. Have a good one. Wait, wait, sir? Yeah, and that is happening on weekdays. <laughs> Monday through Friday, April 1st to April 30th. Hello? <laughs> so you see, they don't care. No, they That's don't. my point. They, just they don't care. Don't they care. don't care. They, it's, it's like nothing. It's like nothing at all. And, and I'm, I'm, I, dude, I just told him we turned away 19, 19 people. And, and he has no problem with that. And he was like, ah, there's nothing. I can't handle it. Oh, well. do about it. We serve shark fin and, and there's nothing. That's a good business tactic. <sighs> Dude, I'm, I'm looking at their menu. Braised shark's fin with very shredded chicken in chicken broth. And then braised shark's fin with king crab meat for two. That is Dim Sum Dynasty in Ridgewood, New Jersey. 201-652-0686. Dim Sum Dynasty NJ.com. Give them a call or, or drop them an email. Let them know, Let that, them know. that serving shark fin soup is, is not cool, man. Not cool at all. They even have je- they have jellyfish. What is that? <laughs> what? That can't be like actual. It's in the appetizers. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. That's fine. You know, whatever. Oh, but dude. hey, hey, no, we need to go to this place though. Why? They have a, something called a treasure platter for two, four honey ribs, two crab claws, two satay chicken, but it comes with two money bags. What the hell's a money bag? A bag of money, right? Well, I don't know. These wacky Asians and their silly foods. <laughs> oh, some of our Asian listeners, please clarify that for us. <laughs> oh, man. That's, but it's just disappointing. They I mean, just no excuses, man. It's, no. Like, it's like this is what we've got. And, you know, <sighs> what, I, I want to try one more. I, I want to try another dim sum place. No, I'm sure there's several on the list. Do you want to do one, Andy? Uh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to hold my cool the way you do. I, would, I really wouldn't. I'm going to call somebody in New York. Yeah, please. <clears throat> this is my business voice. That's your business. Remember, um, why don't we do like a, um, you're from the UN, and you've got the North Korean consulate coming in or something like that? <laughs> okay. I think we can work that one out. Nice. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> I've never done this. This is weird on camera. <laughs> I'm using my, un- well, I mean, my underwear, but still. All right, here we go. <laughs> the number you have reached oh. is not in service. Oh, it's not. This is a recording. Oh. Two, eight, two, oh. The number you have reached is not in service. Yeah, we heard you the first this time. This is a recording. I can't hang up. Hang up, dude. Two, eight, two, oh. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Well, that was disappointing. That was unsuccessful. Uh, let's try one more. Let's, let's try, try somebody in New York City. That would be um, open and busy. Well, it's New York City, so they're guaranteed one, to be One, two, three, open. cafe. You want to do city? Let's oh, no, that's like here. an old one. I want to find a good one. Recent one. A and B? Mm, I don't see it. Oh, go to... Uh, Cha Chang Tang. Cha Chang Tang. Cha Chang Tang. Are you in New York? Yes, I am. New York City. 45 Mott Street. Oh, that's good. That's uh, in the area. Mm hmm. All right, just feed me the number. Hold on. Yep. 212. Hold on, hold on. All right. Okay. 577 2888. All right, I just find out if they have shark fin soup. Let's see if they're in business first. Hi, is this the Chinese oh. restaurant? Yeah. Hi, my name is Chester, Chester Copperpot. I'm looking to entertain some important clients, and I'm looking for traditional Chinese delicacies, and I was wondering if you'd be able to help us out. Uh, excuse me? I was looking to uh, entertain some high-profile guests from the United Nations, um, and I was wondering if you had Chinese delicacies. Um, 
Um, will you be able to answer some questions about the menu at least? Um, no, I'm, I'm busy now. You, you can't help me. I, I have a party of 19, including some people from North Korea. We're on the verge of nuclear war. Are you not interested from, in helping from us? our restaurant? Yes, we're trying to bring them to your restaurant. We hear it's very good. Uh, there's 19 people. 19 people, that's correct, including a delegation. I was wondering, would it be possible to post security at your door? Um, hold on a second. Um, actually, can you call back tomorrow morning? Oh, you see, we have to schedule this today. We unfortunately, do, I don't know if you've been watching the news, but Kim Jong-il is very upset, and we need to get his party here soon to talk. Now, we're looking for some traditional Chinese dishes, and it's very important we get them nearby. Hello. <laughs> I don't think he's a fan of North Korea. <laughs> the bastard hung up. <laughs> the bastard hung up. <laughs> that was a good voice. You're like, oh, that, that was just, nice. It evolved along the way. <laughs> Damn it! Now I want to I want to use Chester Copperpot to talk to somebody. Now. And you just said Kim Jong Il, <laughs> isn't it? Which one is it? He's dead. I, who knows? Aren't they all cool? The North Koreans know. Oh. <laughs> they know if they're you know communist leaders alive or not. <laughs> what's um? What what's the uh, the the guy's name? Kim Jong Woo. No. I think so. Kim Jong Woo, really? Yeah. I, yes, I believe so. <laughs> Try this again. Kim Jong Woo, right? Pick someone else. I'm gonna pick uh, Asia culture from Heavenly Bamboo. <laughs> Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un. Just correct me if I say it wrong. Be like, oh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Copperpot. <laughs> Sound official, Andy. <laughs> Talk to your voice. That doesn't help. <laughs> you want me to sound official, don't you? Flem is not less official, candidate. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chester Copperpot. I'm calling from the United Nations Directory, and I was wondering if you can help me out. We have a group of 19 delegates coming, and we needed to find a place where we can serve them traditional Chinese food, and I was wondering if you'd be able to accommodate us. Okay, uh, so you want to dine, or you want to deliver? Oh, no, we want to dine. We want to experience it all. Okay, so um, we have... Um, do you see our webpage? We have a very nice restaurant in the Mi Concepts Avenue, 39th Street. No, I have not we seen have pictures, but I was recommended to you by a client of mine who said that you have some fabulous traditional Chinese dishes. Yes. I was hoping to find out I, more. I, I'll give you a website that you can take a look. Okay. What's your website? Okay. Uh, www.sushi. Uh, WW39, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay. Fusion39.com. Okay. Fusion, F-U-S-I-O-N, Fusion39.com. Got it. I'm looking at it right now, thanks to technology. Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. beautiful, absolutely beautiful yeah. place. I'm looking at some of your yeah. dishes. Okay, you saw the picture, right? Oh, spectacular yeah. place you have. Yeah. Do you have fish it's, tanks? It's I love fish tanks. On the, on the 39th Street, uh, 5th Avenue, yeah. Oh. oh, but I'm looking at your menu, and do you serve shark fin soup? Oh, unfortunately, that's really unfortunate. We, 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 unfortunately, we can't take you there. Um, we were entertaining delegates from North Korea, and they're very against finning. And if they were to find out that you serve shark fin soup there, it could possibly be World War Three. Oh, oh, this is horrible. One, Will you be able that to? That one, we, we don't. We, we, uh, the menu we don't make anymore. Oh, you don't make it anymore. You stop serving it. Yeah, but un unless unless customer special order, you know. Oh, but that's, see, but that's yeah. not, no, oh, that's not pleasant. Oh, that, my word, that's, that's quite disturbing, actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can you hold on one second? I have another call. Hold on. Sure. <laughs> I think he's kind of dumb, boss. <laughs> hold on, 10 seconds. Hello? Yes, yes. Okay, so um, do so you have any questions? Yes, I'm going to have to cancel because, I mean, I, I'm afraid. See, we're taking delegates from North Korea, and if we mm -hmm. anger them, we could be on the verge of World War III. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. It's scary. 
It's scary. I mean, could you imagine your restaurant was responsible for World War III because of shark fins? No, I mean, I, again, I see the shark fin, right? Yeah. That's the old style. Uh-huh. Okay. It just depends on the customer. If customer we have special demand, we do that. Otherwise, we don't do that anymore. But is it like bring your own fin or do you have them there? No, we don't have it here. Oh, so someone... You guys want or don't, don't want the shark fin? You no, like we, shark fin or don't like it? We don't like, we don't like, it's no good. Yeah, if you don't like it, just forget about it. Why? Because like, uh, uh, right now, more, more and more people don't like uh, the shark fin, right? So yes. that's why we don't do it anymore. Oh, so will, will you stop carrying it in the yeah. future? Yeah, we, we, we stopped we stop doing that. Okay, that's good. So you, there's no shark okay. fins. I, I will not see any sharks without fins anywhere yeah. around your restaurant. Definitely, 100%. Oh, that yeah. makes me so happy. That's yeah. almost as happy as when yeah. I find a really good fortune okay. in a cookie. Okay. So j- just tell me uh, when you have the demand. When, when, when you have the demand. Okay. You, you promise there's no shark fins anywhere around there. Okay. Uh, I have to say 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. We talked to him. I'm sorry. I couldn't keep him going. I couldn't keep him cracking up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was BYOF, I think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good, good for them, though. I mean, you know, it, kind of in a way. I mean, he said, I, I'm going to kind of believe him, at least for right now, as much as I don't want to believe him. I'm going to kind of believe him in, in, in the way that he said, we don't do it anymore because of, you know, animal people. And I got I to gotta respect that because at least he's aware. It's not as if he turned around and said, well, it's, it's tradition. I'm not going to stop. It's true, but. Go ahead. He also seemed quite eager to provide it. Yeah, at at the customer's request, even though they don't have it. Well, it's gonna hand. say so. Like, what are you gonna like say? I want it, and then they're gonna dive into the, the Hudson and, and grab a couple sandbars. <laughs> Dogfish. <laughs> I'm sure that'll taste like BCBs or whatever. Just another testament, man. It's it's a sad fact that people don't care as long as they're making money. I mean. This individual, we will yep. give him the benefit of the doubt. Please don't call them up. No, we'll, no, no, no. We'll give him, we'll leave, give him the, leave them alone. Yeah, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt because, um, you know, it's a little iffy towards the end. Although he did go so far as to say it was on their menu and mention how they prepared it and said that we can get it at the request of a customer. And he didn't care if it was the end of World War <laughs> on the verge of World War Three. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The chat room is just killing me. What's going on? In They're chat? asking if it's authentic MSG. Does it come with a can of Coke? <laughs> no substitution. You guys are horrible. I should have been paying attention to the chat room. I would have thrown those in. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Well, needless to say, there we go. It's it, it's just another demonstration. So please spread the word. Um, obviously, do not ever patronize any places that serve shark fin soup. Do not give them your money Absolutely. in any way, shape, or form. Do not support them. Let people know. There's some really cool cards that you can download off of the internet if you just mm-hmm. like Google finning. Um, that are cards that kind of kindly ask restaurant owners not to serve shark fin soup, and you can just leave it. If you're not like the confrontational type, like Andy, um, yeah. you could just go ahead and drop the card. If you're, if you're the passive aggressive type, <laughs> you can just leave it there, and then walk out front, and then put a, a, a no finning sticker right on si- right outside the glass. So if you're like me, you could just wrap it on a rock and throw it through the front window to get their attention. Too either way seems to work just fine. But yeah, you can leave these little cards and stickers behind if you don't want to actually you know actually confront somebody. Could always it. resort to arson. And- <laughs> That's passive aggressive. That was Andy. That was Andy FBI. <laughs> it's not as if I, it's not as if it's the first time I've been, you know, brought up in charges for arson. <laughs> oh, another evening, another evening. <laughs> one time in college. It was this one time and it didn't count, but anyway, <laughs> well, there we go. An- another demonstration of shark finning reaching the masses. So please, it's not a third world country problem. It's right here in the US. Do what you can, spread the word and, and fight it. It's, it's not a good thing, man. Not no, a good thing. absolutely. And, and if we are persistent enough with it, you know, as this one uh, restaurant claims, it can be stopped. It really can be stopped. And it can be stopped in our lifetime. But unfortunately, I think the animals have already paid such a huge price for it. A huge price. It, it really could be too late. I, I, I have to say this with, with a heavy heart, the fact that I don't doubt within my lifetime we will see the extinction of several shark species absolutely um, oh yeah i, I as, <clears throat> as much as i don't want to go along with that i i think that's 100 percent accurate 
Yeah, I think we, we're likely to see the extinction of some shark species as well as uh, some things like tuna. So it's kind of yes. sad and it's kind of a dire situation. So please do anything that you can do to mm-hmm. help out and spread the word. Spread Urban Jungles Radio. That's right. Uh, uh.